So I've continued on from the previous example um, where we've got these adult male koalas. Uh, they have a mean height of 78 centimetres with a standard deviation of 2.5 centimetres. Now what we're asking is what proportion of adult male koalas are precisely 77 centimetres tall. Okay, so if I lined all the koalas up in a line, and that's quite a funny sight, okay, but if you lined up all the koalas in a line, um, you're all of the koalas that there are, what is the probability of measuring one that is exactly 77 centimetres tall? Exactly, okay? We're not 77.1, not 77.001, not 77.00000001, but exactly 77 centimetres tall. Um, and the probability of this would be zero. The likelihood of you being able to find someone, uh, one of the koalas, to an, within the atom of 77 centimeters tall is going to be zero. So the way to think about it is that on your bell curve, uh, we have that 78 centimeters, the mean. There is 77 centimeters. So what we're thinking about is what is the area of the line, because the probabilities are the area under the curve. And if we're just looking at a line, what is the area of a straight line? Well, that is zero. So whenever you're looking for a precise inequality in a normal distribution or a continuous distribution in general, it will be zero. So that leads us on to what proportion of adult male koalas are not precisely 76 centimetres tall. So seeing as I, the likelihood of being able to measure one that is 76 centimetres tall is zero, then the probability of not measuring one that's 76 centimetres tall must be one. One take away the zero. Okay, so that would be the whole um, probability distribution because the likelihood of me finding one that's 76 centimetres tall exactly is going to be zero.